In today's episode of Easy Publishing to the Central Repository, we are going to figure out how to claim our namespace, our little slice of the central repository. You can imagine the central repository to be a very large bucket of many, many components and you can get access to part of it into which you can publish your own packages that you want to make available to other users of the central repository. This little slice is defined by the Maven repository format. So you can understand here the Maven repository format identifies all your different components using what's called the group ID, artifact ID and version. And you can, for example, use here com.example and my artifact and version 1.0.0. And that translates to a location in the central repository, translating the group ID, replacing the dots with slashes and creating subdirectories. In this example, the directory structure would become slash example and then in there my artifact and then 1.0.0 as directories. Now today we're going to figure out how you can claim that you get access to everything within com slash example and what URLs and namespaces are available for you to claim and how to do that. If we look at the central repository and browse the content of it, we can see the directory structure that exists here with the many, many directories and uh, components being available in it. If upon close examination, we can, for example, see that in the directory structure org slash Apache, we find all the different projects that the Apache Software Foundation is managing with common examples like Apache Maven or Camel or the various commons projects, the CI Server Continuum and many, many others, be they Hadoop or Helix Ignite, Ibatis and so on. There's many, many of these projects and they are all belonging to the Apache Software Foundation and they use org slash Apache as a directory structure and therefore the group ID would be org dot Apache dot and then the respective project name. In a similar fashion, you could see here an organization like Google using com slash Google and then the various projects inside it or the open source components and parts of the Nexus repository manager here in org slash sonotype slash Nexus. In all of these examples so far, we've seen that there's some sort of domain name involved. So a reverse domain name structure is being used. And so if you are the owner of a specific domain name or an employee and you can prove of a certain organization and are authorized to publish into that namespace, then you can uh, get access to that slice of the central repository. So you have a private domain name website for your own website, you can use that. If you don't have that, you can also use other means. So let's see what else is available. Most open source projects are hosted and managed with some sort of source code management system that's available in the cloud and the most prominent this one is probably github at this stage but older ones like google code or source for or so on are just as well supported so you can claim a namespace using these systems by using the reverse domain name of the system and your username so you see here for example in the central repositories directory structure com slash github there's a whole lot of usernames that people have used to claim their individual parts of the central repository and they can publish in to that directory. And very similar things exist for other systems like Bitbucket here in the org slash Bitbucket folder. And there would be other ones like net.sf or net.sourceforge for these older uh, forges and a lot of other ones like that. To prove access to one of those systems, it's very easy because you can commit a publicly visible commit into your repository there with the same email that you use in terms of applying for access to the central repository and that already would prove that you have access to that repository. So in a nutshell, it's 
pretty easy really. You need to just understand what group ID values you will be using in your projects and then prove that you belong to a company and then use the reverse domain name like com.yourcompany or, or any other sort of domain name. It can be like an org or net or even a country specific uh, prefix or whatever like CA or so on. And the same also if you actually control a domain name of your own can be the same again you just control the domain or if that's not applicable to you because you don't have your own website or you don't publishing for a specific company or so then you can just use your github or other forge name like this or the organization you belong to again in the reverse domain name syntax. And with that you know your group name, group ID, and therefore you know which part of the repository, anything underneath that directory can be yours. You just need to go and do the next step and apply for access. And that's what we're going to cover next. Four.